The Siberian magma plume has a diameter of 2,500 to 3,000 kilometers. That is to say 1,550 to say 1,860 miles, which is comparable in scale to the entire continent of Australia. It originates far deeper than any volcano, hundreds, even thousands of kilometers beneath the Earth's surface. While a volcanic eruption is a localized event, plume activity has the potential to trigger large-scale geological transformations and global catastrophes. To illustrate, if a volcano can be likened to a single fountain in a park, then a plume is the entire municipal water system that feeds dozens of such fountains. Or, to use another analogy, if a volcano's energy output is comparable to a backyard barbecue where you grill steaks on the weekend, a plume would be the equivalent of a nuclear explosion of staggering magnitude. Even compared to the well-known Yellowstone supervolcano, which is itself regarded as a serious threat. The Siberian magma plume presents a danger of an entirely different magnitude. It has the potential to release a volume of molten material up to 1,000 times greater than the most extreme possible eruption of Yellowstone. Approximately 250 million years ago, the activity of the Siberian plume triggered a series of catastrophic eruptions known as the Siberian Traps. This event caused the Great Permian Extinction, during which more than 90% of all species on Earth vanished. It remains the most severe extinction event in the planet's history. Today, there are already observable signs of reactions in what is considered the most dangerous plume on Earth. The area beneath Siberia affected by magma flows is now comparable in size to Australia. The plume is exerting pressure on the Earth's crust, causing it to rise. Elevated seismic activity is being recorded along the perimeter of this zone. There is a scientifically grounded risk that magma could soon breach the surface. Remember the analogy of a pot of milk on the stove. When the milk surges upward with enough force, it either lifts the lid or blows it off entirely, causing the contents to spill out in large volume onto the burner. That moment is now comparable to the potential breach of the Siberian magma plume. 